Hi, welcome back to Sci-Fi Fans, I'm your host Wayne and in today's video I want to run through some trivia from one of my favourite stories of all time. H.G. Wells wrote many science fiction books but the one in particular that got me hooked into science fiction from the get-go was The War of the Worlds. The War of the Worlds made into a film way back in 1953 and here are my top trivia points from the film and I hope you enjoy. Cheers. Number one. The H.G. Wells estate was so impressed and pleased with George Powell's version of The War of the Worlds that they actually offered him the opportunity to make any of his other books into films. George Powell chose The Time Machine and that was released in 1960. Number two, tripods, or lack of them. In the original book, and it was originally George Powell's intention to have the Martian machines represented as tripods. However, he didn't fully understand or have any ideas how that would work on film, so he opted for having them fly instead. There is a scene in the film though that does say that the tripods, or the flying machines, are mounted on magnetic tripods. So there you go. Number three, Los Angeles. In the film we see two Martian tripods crash in the city of Los Angeles. But this is in fact the same ship crashing, but it was filmed from a couple of different angles and then they reversed the footage or flipped the footage to give the impression that it was two different ships crashing. Number four, the heat ray. In order to uh, depict the weapon of the Martians, which is the heat ray, they burnt welder's wire through a blowtorch. That created the sparks on screen. Number five, there is a lot of religious symbolism in the War of the Worlds, and uh, believe it or not, HG Wells was agnostic. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video on HG Wells and the War of the Worlds. If you've enjoyed it, please do hit the subscribe button. And if you've enjoyed it that much, why not hit the notifications so you get notified when I produce new videos. You can also follow me on TikTok on sci-fi.1 where I produce content on a daily basis. Pretty much the same sort of vein as this YouTube channel. And I hope to see you there. Until next time, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.